What if I was to tell you there is a magic service that makes your website faster, more secure, and saves you money on your web hosting, and it's 100% free? Well, there is, and in this video, I'm going to tell you all about content delivery networks. Let's go ahead and dive in. Hey, everybody. John here from EncomeMesh.com. My goal is to help you find the perfect tool for your next project. And in today's video, we are going to upgrade one of my dummy sites, one of the sites I play around with, by installing a brand new CDN called Cloudflare. But let's take a step back and talk about what a CDN is, why it's important, why it saves you money, and why you should really be considering installing it on every single one of your websites that you own. Okay, let's go for it. Okay, so first things first, what is CDN and what does it stand for? Well, a CDN is a content delivery network. And what that means is that instead of having a single web host, a single computer on the cloud that serves all your information to the, your visitors of your website, you're able to distribute all that information across hundreds of data centers, hundreds of computers across the world so that you can intelligently route your website to your visitor based on whatever is more convenient and faster for them. So that's a really awesome thing right there. And we'll be talking about Cloudflare in this video, but there are many CDNs available that you could sign up with. Cloudflare, it has amazing support. It has amazing integrations with a bunch of plugins and WordPress tools and hosts as well. It's also 100% free for unlimited bandwidth. They make their money because they have other up upsells and you know additional bells and whistles you can tack onto the service. But for beginning entrepreneurs, it really is not needed at that stage in the game. And if you pair up a Cloudflare service with a caching plugin, maybe an image optimization plugin, you will be doing incredibly well for your page speeds and your load speeds. So why am I talking about this today? Well, I ran a speed test report, and honestly, this is a terrible uh, result. This is one of my Play websites, and it's partially because I upgraded to Gutenberg, and maybe I did that a little too soon. It really seems to have hurt my performance. But when you're running speed tests, one of the things that they recommend that everybody does on their speed test is to use a content delivery network. They also say that's a medium priority. You know, it's not a high priority like images or making fewer external HTTP requests, but it's a pretty important thing to do. And that's because CDNs reduce the amount of ping or latency that your visitors have to experience before they can get your content. And what that basically means is it's the time lag between when they hit the enter button to find your website and they actually make contact with the server that has all your files and then the, the downloading can happen from there. So reducing ping is one of the big things that a CDN can do for you. Another thing that CDNs do is they help you by protecting your site against kind of malicious people, you know, bad, <laughs> bad people that are out there. And it does that because, hold on, let me just find that page real quick. Let's go to Cloudflare's home, products, CDN. And so here you can kind of see a visualization of that. So this is how uh, Cloudflare works. And basically your origin server may be somewhere here uh, in the middle of the country, but it's going to distribute that content all to all these other data centers so that wherever your visitors are coming from, they're always going to get served the information from the closest possible place, which reduces your ping there, which is that nine milliseconds. Here, this is kind of the standard version here, whereas everybody's pinging that one web host. And this is going to do really two things. One is it's going to slow down the time that they're going to get the information they're looking for, but it's also going to you know, greatly in increase the number of uh, requests that are being made from your host server. So if you are paying by the bit, you know, we all kind of have caps on how much bandwidth we can have with our web hosts. What is happening on this Cloudflare version is it's actually sending uh, versions of your website out to Cloudflare every now and then, but not that you know, not so much, uh, not with so much frequency that it really hurts your overall bandwidth. But here, every single time somebody's going into your server, it's making another request, so that can add up to bandwidth over time, and that kind of shows that as well. And the other thing that is really beneficial is some of the security measures that are kept in place with CDNs, and essentially because so many hosts use these content delivery networks to protect their content these things cloudflare is able to build up this huge database of all the no-nos all the bad people that are out there and are able to intelligently protect you from them as they're going along so that's enough benefit of the uh, content delivery networks i have more details in the blog post that i'll link in the description below but let's go ahead and actually install this guy into um, one of my new websites so to do that we're just going to go to cloudflare.com we're going to sign up for a new account so here on the sign up, it'll ask you to get started and I'll put in my email address here. 
And then you can, if you want to get their information or not, you can click there and create an account. And that's pretty easy. So no even need to go and confirm your website at this point. You probably will at some point though. We'll add our site and I'm going to add conversion sandbox to this guy. And I'll add that in. And what this is going to do at this point is go and kind of explore, kind of look to see all the different things you have going on with that website. And it's doing it all on its own. No technical need for you at the moment. So that's what it's just saying. It's going to figure out automatically importing all your DNS records. So we'll go ahead and hit next here. And then you select your plan. I'm going to go with the free plan on this one. You can see it gives you that global content delivery network, unmetered mitigation of DDoS. This is one of the security attacks that can happen on your, uh, on your site and a free SSL as well. So if you look at what you get additionally, you know, firewalls, mobile and image optimization. So image optimization is awesome, but for $20 a month, you can get a awesome plugin to do that on your website as well. And then additional page rules. So not a whole lot more to go to that $20 per month, which is why I recommend just get started with the free plan and then grow it if you need to. We'll see one free website and confirm. Okay, so now it's going to go and find all the DNS records here. And we, I, yeah, so you got all of these different records here. And if you are techie, you can try to, you know, adjust these or make it whatever you need it to be. I am not, so I'm going to go ahead and continue. Let's take a look at it real quick. I'll say continue. And now it's going to give you, two, I love these name servers. It's going to give you two name servers. This is the most technical side of the entire process. So what you're going to want to do here is go log into where you've registered your domain, not necessarily your web host. So you may use GoDaddy or Namecheap to register your domains, but then host your websites with SiteGround or Bluehost or one of those. Uh, so you need to find your domain registrar. Uh, for this website, for whatever reason, I have it uh, registered at InMotion Hosting. So I'm going to go here and go to point my domain. And you can see this is where my it's pointing to Bluehost. I'm going to remove those guys and go back into Cloudflare and take Fiona and put Fiona into my primary and take Zeus and take the Zeus into my secondary. And I'll submit those. Okay, so now I see that my request has been completed on my domain registrar's side. Let's head back to cloudflare.com and say continue. And there's some help here if you need help getting started there. But we'll say continue and boom. So you are literally done with the setup here. So what's going to happen is it's going to take some time for the internet to realize you made those changes and it's going to start populating Cloudflare and doing all sorts of cool things. So give it a day or so. Uh, normally it doesn't take a full day, but give it uh, some time to propagate. But we're going to go ahead and just kind of poke around here. And what you'll be able to see, uh, which we could probably see in my other accounts here, but I, I, we won't go into that right now. But you'll be able to see exactly how much Cloudflare is saving you. You'll be able to see how many requests are being made through Cloudflare, how many of them are cached, and how many are uncached. And uncached basically means it's having to actually hit your real web host. But the cached are ones that never, that traffic never even hits your web host, which is pretty awesome. You'll see the bandwidth you've saved by doing this and all sorts of cool things. And you're, you'll even be able to set up different speed settings. So uh, minification, all these different things, uh, which, you know, I'm not the most technical to be able to go through what all these do, but I will kind of give you a word of warning here. You have to be careful. If you have W3 Total Cache or WP Rocket or one of those caching plugins, or maybe even caching provided by your host, like I know SiteGround has their SiteGround optimizer as well. The more times you stack the same thing on top of each other, so for instance, if you'd stack minification on one tool and then minification on Cloudflare, you can start to get some weird results. So leave the default settings on for at first, make sure you get Cloudflare running and see if your website's responding as it should. And then if you want to go and continue to tweak to your heart's content, do one setting at a time and just check to make sure that it doesn't do any damage to your website. Okay, a little public service announcement. That's lessons I've learned the hard way. Okay, so really we are done at this point. And let me show you a website that is running with Cloudflare as well. Let me go back to here to the speed testing. And so Income Mesh is running on Cloudflare. And I also upgraded this guy to WordPress 5.0. So I think my performance is actually going to be not very exciting. I was getting right around one second load times. And then today they started to get three second load times. So not thrilled with that, but let's see how it looks today. Okay, again, not a very exciting result, 4.1 seconds, not thrilled with that, but you can see that once you've implemented um, uh, 
Cloudflare, it will show you that you do have a content delivery network and that will increase some security, increase a lot of benefits for your website. Okay, so I hope that was helpful. So kind of to wrap up this quick video, Cloudflare is a content delivery network that will help speed up your website by making sure it's delivering on the best hardware that's out there, your website to your visitors as quickly as possible. It'll also increase your security by being able to run all your traffic through their very advanced filters to make sure that only good people are trying to access your website. It will also save you money by reducing the number of queries and the number of pulls that get sent over to your actual web host by routing as much of their traffic through their caching systems as they can. I'm John from IncomeMesh.com. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when I come out with more content like this. And leave a comment below. Do you use Cloudflare or a different um, CDN? Let me know what you think about Cloudflare and what you think about this tutorial and the style that I'm presenting. I want to make sure that I make this content as relevant and as useful to you as possible. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.